Welcome back, everybody, to another episode on the series of Ratachai Muay Thai and getting to know our trainers here in Phuket, Thailand. Today, we're working with Crew Best. It's a pretty solid session, so let's get right into it. So you're going to be seeing this in succession of rounds one, three, and two. And I believe that's mainly because the camera angle is pretty bad on round two. So if you stick around to round three, much love and respect. Uh, now this is my first time working with Crew Best. And uh, one thing I noticed about him, he's able to absorb a lot of power, a lot of speed, and a lot of combinations. And again, I apologize for this jabroni who's getting in the way of my shot. Obviously, they don't care about my camera, and I didn't tell nobody, so I can't blame anyone except myself. But it's also hard to set up a camera in this setting and get a, a full, uh, full on view. But uh, yeah, we're working with a lot of quick combinations. Everything is pretty much power. Showing them I'm ready for that right elbow. Kicks are hard. Kicks are solid. I think he wanted an elbow at the very end there. Instead, I threw a right hook by accident. Now, we, <laughs> at this point, we notice our lady, the lady to the left. She's walking around filming. So we're both trying to get on camera, I think, at this point. I'm trying to look good, I'm trying to get her attention. But for some reason, she's filming the old jabroni next to us. who looks like uh, it just started. Wow, it's mean and best. I'm doing some serious work here. I mean, everything looks clean, what we're doing. Considering this is especially only round one. It's telling me to relax, but I'm pretty relaxed. I'm just, I'm throwing, you know, I'm at a point where I'm throwing power and I'm not gassing out too much. I tend to be leaning a little bit too much on my right kicks. What I mean by leaning is like my head. If you notice, my head it should be more straight up. I feel like maybe I'm wrong, but it, it, it's slightly to the left. I'm kind of like throwing my head to the left. Or you see there, that switch kick, I was more straight up. I was pretty straight up there. Oh. Throwing a lot of quick hard elbow combinations. Very good first round. Now this is round uh, three, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. One thing Crew Best likes to do, he likes to like kind of make you do a lot of hand checking on his own head. Kind of like Trainer Gay would, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he uses his head as a, as a tool. And you notice I, I really want to pull down on the head on the knees, but I'm really just trying not to. Out of respect for these guys, I don't really want to touch their heads too much. I know I can. When I get back to the States, everyone I throw a knee to, everyone's getting their head. Pull down. Anyways, punch is looking good, everything looking good. It's all power. Pretty quick, and it's 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 not a bad chemistry for our first time. I think. I think he was kind of like testing me a little bit, and then he was kind of like, see, I'm leaned over. He was a little bit happy to see I kind of know what I'm doing, so he he can kind of do some fancy stuff. See that I added that low kick. Now he wants me to step into it and punch, use my momentum to come forward. Okay, no problem. So right punch, left kick, right punch. 
And here it comes again. Um, only switch it to an uppercut, finish it with some elbows. Looking clean, hard elbows. Again, the right kick, I'm leaning a little bit, just a little bit. See, look, he's making me use his head, paw on his head. But basic stuff for the most part. You didn't really do nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Solid, quick, hard strikes. Something like that. I'm trying to show him right there. I'm ready for a hook after the right kick. Why not? Just to show it. Like, let's make this look a little bit fancy. Now he wants me to step out. Because he's going to start adding that left hook to my right kicks. You'll see. He's really teep. I thought he wanted like a knee, wasn't sure yet. So I'm showing him again, I'm like, I'm ready for that left hook, let's do something with it. Right, right hook, uh, left hook after that right kick. Kind of a little Dutch style. Mixing Dutch style with some uh, There it is again. Right kick, left hook. Back, back side leg kick. You don't see many of them trying to call them for that. I wish they'd call for that a little bit more often. Good strike, I throw it a lot in sparring. These jabronis in my way again. He's just wiping sweat off his face. and flinging sweat everywhere at this point. I feel bad and I dry myself off in between rounds with my shirt and stuff, but it doesn't matter, I just sweat too much. But they know that's part of the game. Mm. So he's now he's trying to add that that hook after every right kick. Uh, end of round three. I think that was the end of round three. Pretty sure. Now this is gonna be round two, I think. Now I posted this in the end, just in case. I think the guy gets in the way even more in this one. Even though this is a good round, unfortunately. A lot of elbows. I think the lady's still walking around filming, so we're still trying to show off at this point. But hard elbows. You notice he's just very calm and controlled. It's, it's very nice and clean. I like I like working with Bess. He seems energetic. He seems into it. You know, he wants to he wants to look good. And he's got the ability to to work some really high level combos. I think it just comes down to the connection with the fighter and what what you want to do, what he wants to do. So, so like, you got to lead him. Like, right there, I just let him. I was showing him, in, I'm ready for that inside trip after that left knee, and I caught him, it was beautiful. Caught him a little bit too good. Where I had to throw a right knee as opposed to a left knee. So now he's telling me, don't, don't bend so much, don't put so much weight down, be more straight up. Kind of be more. Uh, if you notice Muay Thai stance, it's very narrow with your feet. It's really not too wide of a stance. Some guys have a big wide stance, but if you look at the traditional stance, it's like your feet are very close together and you're standing straight up, and it gives you better balance on both legs from that. From my understanding. So now I'm trying to show him. I'm ready for an elbow after that body hook. He's like, all right, let's go, but I'm sure you can't see it. Sorry about this guy getting in my shot again. That's the problem when you just plant your camera. Can't really, can't help stuff like that. I'm gonna try to just move it around to see maybe if I get a better angle or not. 
Maybe I should try moving it closer. Anyways, finish him with some big elbow, elbow strikes. I'm pretty sure he's going to give me some big hard elbows to finish. Um, Best is a very good, uh, very good young, hungry trainer. So I say I like working with the younger guys a lot. A little bit more hungry, a little bit more involved. They fight back a little bit more. And they're a little bit more fun. And they can absorb your energy, it seems like. They have more uh, ability to kind of keep up with the higher pace. And that's not everybody. Maybe I'm being biased here, but most of the young guys I work with like I said, their style is always slightly different, slightly a little bit more, slightly more evolved. And they have no choice but to evolve. You know, that's how I see it. You can't, you can't remain stale and stagnant in Muay Thai. You gotta, you gotta change your game. Sanchai is an example of all that. Anyways, he's gonna finish me off with 10 kicks here. I uh, hope you guys like and watch this video. Uh, if it helped, that you in any way hit that like hit that subscribe button again this has been crew best at rabbit chai muay thai winston volk vagabond thank you for watching peace and love good night everybody